Using a good to do app has changed my life and it can change your life too. Now the best to do app for most people is things three. I'm going to give you five reasons why things is the right to do app for you. And I'm also going to give away 10 copies of things from Mac OS courtesy of cultured code, the makers of things three more on the giveaway later in the video. Let's jump into those five reasons. First reason number one is that things helps you organize all areas of your life, your personal life, your business life. Maybe you do some volunteering, stuff like that. Here on the left, you can see the list of areas that I have. For example, I have an admin and finances area because that's stuff that you got to deal with. Sometimes I have a health area for making sure that, you know, I'm healthy. I have a home area. I have an area for content marketing, like these YouTube videos that I make, etc. Now, let's say you want to organize your life and you think, you know what? I really want one place to keep track of all the nonprofit work that I do. Super easy. Just go new list at the bottom left and click new area. And you can call it nonprofit or whatever you'd like to call it. Now, I usually like to organize these alphabetically, so I'll put this one right here. And you can start writing down all the things that you need to do. Um, schedule a meeting with Stacy or fill in form XYZ for the IRS. You can even put projects in here. So you can say, hey, new project that is build a new clubhouse. And I can make sure, yep, that's under there and, you know, get a quote from a contractor. And then this way you can make sure that all of the things that you need to do for your nonprofit live in this one area. Reason number two is that things helps you tackle large projects. For example, here I am in my home area. Now I might end up buying a house soon. I don't know for sure yet, but I might. So I'm going to create a new project and call it buy a home. Now that could be a really daunting thing to do, but fortunately things helps us make it easier. We can break this down into several different chunks. Let's create headings for that. I'm going to use the shortcut shift command N. One of them is get a mortgage. Another one is identify a home that I'd like to buy. Another one is bid on the home. Another one is plan renovations for the home because you might want to buy a home and before you move in, do some, you know, like insulate the floors and stuff like that if it's a bit of an older home, right? And you can see that there's a bunch of different things here that we need to do. Maybe another one actually is a hire a real estate agent. Maybe that's another um, heading. And so then we can start filling in tasks underneath these headings. So we can say research mortgage advisor X, or maybe we could say something different, say schedule a chat with mortgage advisor Y. And it can be the same thing for the real estate agent, right? Ask my friend Bob, which real estate agent he went with. And I can fill in tasks under all of these headings. So you can see that even though this is a rather big project, we can easily break it down into its component parts inside things three. Reason number three is that things helps you remember to do things. Let's say you're on the go and you suddenly remember, oh yeah, right. I need to pick up a package from the neighbor, but you're doing something else. and You don't want to be interrupted for too long. No problem. All you got to do is tap your phone and then tap the plus button right here, which is the things widget that I've set up. It opens up this panel. I'll start to type pick up package from neighbor. I'll tap save and move on with my day. It really took just 10 seconds. Now this task lives in the inbox. So if I go over to the inbox, I'll see it right here. Once a week, I do a weekly review and I process my inbox. So I either take care of this task right away or put it in the appropriate area or project to make sure that I don't forget about it. If I have a little bit more time when I think of something, I can add a few more details as I'm entering the task. For example, I'm going to hit the plus button here on this things widget that I've set up on my phone. Again, the same panel pops up. Let's say it's a different task. Talk to Mark about that conference. Now I can select an area for this. Perhaps it's a business development task and I can tap this button over here to just say, hey, let's do this on Monday because that's when I'll get back to the office. I can tap save and now this task lives in the right area and it will show up under my today view on Monday. Super handy for making sure I don't forget about stuff, but we can go a little bit further. If I really want to make sure that early Monday morning, I remember to do this. Here's how we do that. I'm going to find that task just by swiping down, opening the search box and searching for Mark. There we go. We've got the task. I'm going to tap on it, tap on it again, tap on Monday. And now you'll see at the bottom that it says add reminder. So I'm going to tap that and say, let's do a reminder for 10 a.m. on Monday and I'll tap done. 
Now, this task will not only show up in my today view on Monday, but I'll also get a notification, push notification at 10 a.m. to remind me to do it. Reason number four is that things helps you get stuff done on time. Here we're looking at a project that I created for my Toastmasters Public Speaking Club. In our next meeting on Wednesday, I'll be the host, which is called the Toastmaster of the Evening or TME. I need to do a bunch of things to prepare for the meeting to run smoothly. So this whole project has a deadline. The deadline is Wednesday, September 28th next Wednesday, which I can just set like this. I can change it right this, like this. Super easy, right? Um, but just because that is the deadline, the last possible day that I need to have everything done by doesn't mean I want to leave everything until the last moment. That's not smart. For example, I've created two tasks, one that I'll be doing Sunday, one that I'll be doing Wednesday to send people reminders, say, hey, our next meeting is on Wednesday. Make sure you show up, right? Because, you know, People need reminders sometimes, but there are other things that I need to do. For example, we're going to have people delivering prepared speeches. I'd like to know as the host of the evening what the titles of their speeches are so that I can read those titles aloud to the group so that everybody knows, hey, which speech is coming now. I don't want to do that on Wednesday because people may not reply to me on time. So I'm actually going to schedule this for some time earlier. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command S. And I'm gonna say, you know what? This sounds like something I'd like to do on Monday. So I'm just gonna click Monday. There's a bunch of other ways of doing this, but this is the general idea. Now, if we go to this view up here, which is called the upcoming view, what I can see is all the tasks and some calendar events actually as well that I have coming up. So I've got some stuff coming up tomorrow. I've got some stuff coming up Sunday. And on Monday, hey, look, here's that task that says, ask the speakers to fill in their speech titles. We've got a system for that. They need to fill it in in a system. So I can see at a glance, hey, what are the things that I need to do in the next couple of days? And I can also make sure that I do things on time. Now, you'll see that the entire project, if I just scroll down a little bit, the entire project over here, um, is listed under Wednesday. That's because it has a deadline of Wednesday. So if I don't complete it before that time, at the very least, I have to complete it on Wednesday. So this is how things helps you complete your work on time, but also helps you make sure that you're not doing everything last minute. Reason number five is that things helps you focus. Let's say you think of something that you'd like to do. For example, fix hole in office wall. But it's something that you don't want to get to soon because you've got plenty of other things going on. You don't want to forget about it either though. Things has a feature for that called the someday feature. I'm going to hit command S to pull up the date panel and then type someday and then hit return or enter. Now you'll see that this, tasks li this task lives here at the bottom under a someday bucket. What it does is things kind of moves this, hides it from your main view. It's something that you'd like to do someday, you know, maybe. And then there's a different view in things called the anytime view. Well, first of all, let me actually go to the main someday view. And this shows you all of the someday, someday tasks that you have across all of your areas and projects. All right. But there's a different view called the anytime view, which is basically things that you can work on any time. It's things that you could work on today. So things that are already scheduled for today, like this is a task record this video that I'm recording right now scheduled for today. I'll just kind of check that off cheekily, um, even though I'm not quite done recording yet. Um, but it also has a bunch of other tasks and it has all the tasks that are not already scheduled for some future date and that are not in the someday bucket. So this helps you focus because if you're anything like me or like most people really, you're constantly gonna be coming up with ideas for things that you'd like to do theoretically if you had tons of time, but you only have a limited amount of time. You don't have an unlimited amount of time. So you wanna write those things down to be like, you know what, maybe I'll work on that someday. I wanna remember it, I don't wanna forget about it, you know? So you have the comfort of writing it down, but it's not sitting in your way when you're gonna sit down in the morning or the night before you're thinking, what am I gonna do today? What am I gonna work on tomorrow? You've got a nice clean list of items here that don't include those someday maybe, maybe items, but only the ones that you feel are the most actionable. So because Things 3 is so fantastic and life-changing, I'm really excited to give away 10 copies of Things from macOS. Many thanks to Cultured Code, the company that makes things for sending me 10 100% off coupons for things on the Mac App Store for me to give away to you guys. Now, all you have to do to enter this contest is to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below the video. Do that in the next couple of days. I'll then use a random number generator to pick 10 winners and I'll be in touch with them next week. So remember, just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.
Ciao!